All right. So my Scorpion Mod M, um, I broke the tap-up plate. This is the fact, the one that was in the factory piece. Might be hard to see. Can I get that to zoom in? Notice the two little teeth are broke off right here in the end. God, that's tiny. Um, I searched all over the internet trying to find a replacement. Could not find any um, in stock. I then reached out to Tokyo Marui. They didn't have any or couldn't tell me where I could find one. So um, I did the next best thing. I went online and did some Googling and somebody actually had a 3D uh, print STL available to download. So I printed up, I don't know, about six or so of these things. Yeah, six. Um, started taking them apart and cleaning them up a little bit. Um, they do need a little TLC. Uh, but for general purpose, they're pretty close to being dead on. So I'm going to clean up a couple. Um, there was two different files I found. Uh, one was just basically a remake uh, where you had to glue the spring um, holder in place. Um, but they also had an, an idea of putting uh, like some metal pins down here in the end and uh, to help strengthen that up. So I printed a bunch. This is in ASA. I didn't have any uh, nylon, but apparently this is supposed to be just as strong. So we'll see how it goes. I'm going to clean up a couple of these, see about getting them into the gearbox and trying it out. And if I break them, I can always reprint them. It literally is a 15 minute print, which is awesome that's makes life super easy um so i'll get a couple cleaned up and see how they work and see if they need any modification and if they do i can go in and modify the stl myself to meet my needs um the only thing like on this one where i removed this bottom support piece i don't really like how those teeth stick out but looking at the stock one they don't really stick out that far to start with so we'll have to see how that works might have to do a little bit of modification to the stl one to give give that area just a little bit more support we'll see all right uh, next we'll be getting into the gearbox well next we'll be cleaning these up but I'm not going to go through the tedious part of sanding and filing and showing you how that works because I'm sure each one's going to be a little different. All right, so I've cleaned up a couple of these. Uh, we're going to see if that works. Um, I've gotten the Scorpion tore down to here. I just need to get a Phillips head to remove that screw right there so I can take the gearbox out. So that's next. And uh, then I'll be opening up the gearbox to see about uh, whether filing or sanding I need to do to make that fit properly. So let's get into that. All right, so having to fit this in, um, it's dragging along this back edge here. And because of that, when it gets to this part, it's pushing the gripper part down so need to sand on the back side and I need to sand on this long front side to get it to fit in there properly so I'm just taking my flat file going back and forth a few times test fitting it till it feels nice and smooth all right kind of feels like I got it let's see should be able to just kind of slide it back and forth. Yeah, it slides back and forth pretty good. So I think it might still just need a little bit more love down here on this little guy. But everything else feels nice and smooth. It doesn't feel like it's binding. I'm going to go ahead and uh, file just a little bit more off. And then I'm going to put this gear back in and see how it catches. All right, so I got the spring back in. I got the tappet plate back in. Got all the gears back in. Now the trick will be to get the 
motor and everything back in place or not motor but uh, piston and spring and then we will see if this works uh, regretfully uh, they're going to be doing maintenance on our power this evening so here shortly they're going to be turning all our electricity off so I'd like to get this back together mostly if I can before that happens all right <clears throat> so after a little bit of finessing got it all back together um, took me two tries it uh, shot the spring out one time but it looks like the tappet plate is in and it's tight so that's good and the spring is where it's supposed to be so the next thing is is to uh, go ahead and put it back into the frame and see if it actually works um, this is the original one I was just kind of test fitting this and then sliding the other one back and forth just to make sure it worked um, I still have a few there that I can uh, modify or I can even reprint them if I need to but uh, Let's see if this works. We'll get it back back together and maybe try to get a few rounds through it. All right, so it's all back together to the point where I can put a battery in it and see if it cycles a few BBs. So, let's hope. If not, we'll be tearing it back apart to see what the problem is. All right, well, I got it all back together, and apparently I did not get the black wire back on the terminal. But uh, that's going to call it for now, because uh, I'm running out of time. So I'll pick this up tomorrow once I pull the gearbox back out and get it, get the wires back in there correctly.